Hi everyone, figured I'd do a little video about why you shouldn't care about barrel life when you pick your next precision rifle cartridge, or at least not in the way you think you should. Uh, before you keep on watching, uh, about 60 or 70 percent of you guys watching this, uh, or historically at least, uh, are not subscribed to my channel. So if you're a frequent viewer of my channel, you just hit that little subscribe button down there and we'll get going. Okay, so I did some math recently. Uh, there's this discussion always ongoing, like barrel life and what should I pick? I don't want to shoot out my barrel, la da 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 da. It's going to get expensive to shoot a 6 mil over a 6.5. And when you look at it first way around, it sort of makes sense. You know, you get a little less barrel life and costs go up. You have to rebarrel maybe just a little bit more often. But I dug down a bit deeper into that. And all these numbers are in Swedish crowns and what either this distributor has a recommendation, recommend, <laughs> recommended out price, you know, like what the stores are supposed to take for them. Or like for ground powder, I averaged about what they cost, so I put something in the middle. So I used the same numbers for powder and primers. So uh, we're going into a 6BR uh, over a 6.5 Creedmoor. A rebarrel of any cartridge over here in Sweden is about 10,000 crowns. And uh, there's uh, one... Do US dollar is about eight and a half crown right now. So if anyone of you are interested in the math, just look that up and take out your little calculator and you'll get the point anyway. I'm going to talk in Swedish crowns now. So a rebarrel in Sweden is about 10,000 kroner. Uh, you get a good look, you get a good Bartland, you get a Krieger, something like that. You know, really high quality barrel, uh, 10,000 crown. If you go with a non American manufacturer like International Barrels, the ones I shoot, you get away a little bit cheaper, maybe eight or 9,000 crowns. But we're going to go with the 10,000 since Bartlands and Kriegers are the most common around here. I used Hornady Boat Tail Hollow Point bullets for all these three examples now so that you could get some similarities uh, between all of them. So it'd be not different manufacturers or anything like that. So when you go into a BR, the gunpowder to shoot maybe, let's say a BR barrel life is about 3,000 rounds. Uh, my barrels, I've just pulled them uh, previously, I've pulled them before 3,000 rounds. So they've shot phenomenally. A good friend of mine shoots uh, uh, in World Championship, uh, ISSF, you know, positional shooting. And his barrels are usually pulled between three and three and a half thousand. He's never had a barrel really die on him. So I'm safe to say that 3,000 rounds is a good, decent average barrel life for a 6BR variant if you don't load them like crazy. So what I did was I took an average load on the Vitabori uh, reloading data. And I did the math on how much gunpowder would you need to shoot out a barrel? How much would that cost? Well, that would cost you 4,450 crowns, roughly. Okay, so how much would the bullet cost? Well, that's 13,170 crowns. And the primers would be 2,169. So you'd be stuck with, I'm not, uh, not going to count in uh, brass here or anything like that because it's a very fluent number so depending on what manufacturer you get, how many you lose and some stuff like that. It doesn't matter. It's, I don't use the brass here. So for the BR you're stuck with 29,795 uh, to shoot out a 3,000 round barrel including the barrel. That goes down to 9.93 crowns per round and if you count like let's say the comparison here is going to be you're going to shoot 9,000 rounds. Okay, so you're going to do this thing three times. You're stuck with the number of 89,370 crowns to shoot out three BR barrels. They might last longer, they might, might last shorter. You never know, but 3,000 is what I'm counting on. Moving on to a 6.5 Creedmoor. Here I see a lot of people think, well, use a 6.5, you'll save a lot of money on barrel life and such. Yeah, you're probably not going to rebarrel it as often, but I did the math on this as well. Uh, it turns out uh, my, I used to shoot 6.555. An average 6.555 barrel is going to last you somewhere between four and 5,000 rounds. And a Creedmoor is about the same, uh, four to 5,000, depending on what you shoot, obviously. So here, we look, here we're looking at 4,500 rounds. The barrel, same here, 10,000 Kronor. But you're going to be putting a hell of a lot more powder in there, like 40% more powder. So it's going to cost you 11,655 crowns for the powder to shoot that barrel out. And your bullets are going to go in a bit more expensive as well because, well, the 6.5 Botel hollow points 
are more expensive than the six millimeter ones from Hornady. So you're stuck with bullets for 25,605 kroner. Your primers always, obviously, I've used the same primers in all of these calculations. Since you're going to be shooting more rounds, that cost is going to go up as well. So that's 3,253 crowns. To shoot out that barrel, with the barrel and all the components, then again, not counting brass, 50,513 crowns, or roughly 11.22 crowns per shot. And to get up to 9,000 rounds, you're going to do that twice, which is 101,026 crowns. That's 12,000 crowns more than to shoot out your three 6BR barrels, and now you shot out two. So, it's more expensive to shoot the 6.5 Creedmoor than the 6 mil BR. You're going to rebarrel it an extra time, but the cost is still going to be lower. Next up, well, well, BR, you know, it's a nice round. It doesn't wear that much on the barrel or anything like that. But if you're going to go up and shoot maybe a more a hotter 6 mil round, let's say the 6XC. Now, I have a lot of friends who shoot the 6XC. It's a phenomenal round. It wears a little bit more on the barrel than the 6BR. But I have friends who've shot 6BR, 6XC barrels up to 3,500 rounds or even close to 4,000. They wouldn't take that barrel to a match, but it still performs pretty good up to 100 rounds before you have to clean them. So I'd say roughly looking at what people shoot for matches, I'd say about 2,000 rounds is an average for 6XC if you're going to have before you're going to pull it for not use it for matches. So, same thing here, your barrel, it's going to cost, I'm counting this one is for 2,000 rounds then, so your so barrel is going to cost 10,000, that's the same. Your powder is going to be 4,400 crowns, also there, it took an average load on the Vitavo re reloading uh, charts. Your bullet's going to be about 8,700. Your primers for 2,000 rounds is going to be about 1,440. So you're going to be stuck with a uh, cost of for 2,000 rounds in a 6XE of 24,600, or roughly 12.3 crowns per, per round. Now, it's kind of hard to do. You're going to do that, let's say you have 2,000 rounds. Okay, so you're going to do that four times. You're going to reach 8,000 rounds instead of 9,000 9, rounds, but you'll get the picture. So shooting 8,000 rounds with said 6XE is going to cost you 98,500, which is still lower than the 9,000 rounds of 6.5 Creedmoor. And if you do the math, and let's say uh, your barrel would, uh, your 6, uh, 6XE barrel would last longer and you'd be able to get those 9,000 rounds out of them. I mean, it's just 250 rounds extra, so it'd be 2,250 in each instead. You'd be looking at maybe 105, 106,000. So it's just slightly, slightly more expensive than a 6.5 Creedmoor. And you get the same amount of rounds. So I hope this sort of, and all discussions about the 6.5s being more economical to shoot, because they're not. You put more powder in them, you put a bigger bullet, and it's in the long run, it's not the barrel or, or the rebarreling job that costs you money. It's the bullets, it's the powder, and all the other components. And when it comes down to it, if your goal is to hit the target at a precision rifle match, why would you choose a less than ideal round for your job. Go with a 6 mil next time. Don't think you'll be saving money on going with a 6.5. Take care.